Week 9, Problem 11. In the figure below, the rolling axle, 1.5 meters long, is pushed along horizontal rails at a constant speed of 4 meters per second. A resistor of 0.4 ohms is connected to the rails at points A and B, directly opposite each other. Got it. Um, the wheels make good electrical contact with the rails, the axle rails and R form a closed loop circuit. The only significant resistance in the circuit is R. A uniform magnetic field of 0.07 Teslas is vertically downward. Find the induced current in the resistor. All right, so this, um, we're gonna cut the chase first and we're gonna backtrack a little bit. So everybody loves velvet bunnies. Who loves velvet bunnies? Everyone. Everybody loves velvet bunnies. And don't need little. So that is the equation for the induced um, voltage. So the long way to go about it, which it's, I think it's valuable to actually know this because if you know the way to do the long way, all these problems are pretty much the same. Negative deflux dt equals negative magnetic field times area over t, which equals negative db dt times area plus d area. As, this is just the, the product rule. Bam. Okay, and then we look at this and we're gonna say that magnetic field's constant, so the change in magnetic field with respect to time is zero. Got it. Um, dA dt is going to equal, um, so an area equals length times width. So this is gonna be dL dt times width plus dW dt times length, where the length, I'm gonna call that the length of the axle, is constant. So this guy is zero. This guy right here is actually just gonna be the speed of the, um, how fast it's rolling. So we put this all together, we're gonna to get negative LV. And that's where this uh, everybody loves velvet bunnies um, equation comes from. So that's going to give us the induced voltage. The induced voltage is then going to create a um, induced current. So induced current, we have current equals V, or in this case, uh, epsilon for um, induced motor, electromotive force. So this is going to be LVB over R. Which equals, all right, so now we can actually start plugging things in. So we're gonna have 1.5 times four times the, four times the magnetic field is like 0 0.07, 0 0.07. over resistance, which I think is what? 0 0.5? 0 0.4. All right, so 1.5 times four is six. Six times 0 0.07 is 0 0.42 over 0 0.4. So this would be what? Oh, 0 0.4. Hmm. That's almost one. 1.05, maybe? So I'm gonna do 0.42 divided by 0.4. Come on, 1.05, yes! Ah, oh, I'm so amazing. I am awesome. Amps. This seems like a lot of amps. Hmm. I guess it is a big magnetic field. 1.05, and it is a small resistor. All right, what horizontal force is required to keep the axle rolling at a constant speed? All right, and again, to cut to the chase, we know that fire incinerates the little bunnies. Fire incinerates 
little bunnies. So we, we already have the current, we have the L, we have the B. So this is the same as force equals QV cross B. So actually to back up a little bit, we have EQ plus QV cross B. There's no magnetic field really to speak of. So we have QV cross B. B is measured in meters per second. We're going to take that time and move it over to the Q, which gives I L cross B. And that's where this equation comes from. Um, so let's see, the current, we already have it, so 1.05. We know the length of the, of the um, axle, 1.5. We know the magnetic field, which is 0 0.07. So we do 1.5 times 0 0.05 times 1.5 times 0 0.07. Probably didn't need that first zero. I don't care. 0.11. So we have 0 0.11 newtons. Bam! Got it. So if you have a problem like this on a test and you're running behind, I would just when I went through when I, if I went if I was you and I went through this the first time. I just use the equation. Everybody loves velvet bunnies. Fire incinerates little bunnies. Put in the answers. Move on. Flag it so if you get time, you can come back and actually look at it a little bit more. Uh, I guess deeply. But if you're pressed for time, use the uh, mnemonic. Throw down an answer. Move on. Which end of the resistor A or B is the higher electric potential? All right. So this is basically saying which way is the magnetic field going. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to look up to this guy. So we did. Uh, e, negative deflux dt, uh, epsilon, negative deflux dt, negative magnetic field, blah, 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 and we get negative LVB. So the electric potential is going to induce a current that opposes the magnetic field. So you think of it, this says oppose, and that is magnetic field. So where that is the same direction as the magnetic field up here. So we're going to oppose the magnetic field that is currently here. So we're going to create a magnetic field going this direction. So to create a magnetic field going that direction, use the right hand rule. Up, up, up. So we're going to have to have a current going this way, which means an electric potential or a current flows from high potential to low potential, just like water flows from high up to low up maybe low down. I don't know. The idea is water runs downhill. So does current when you're talking about potential. So what's going to happen then is going to go from A to B. So when we have current flowing from A to B means that A will be at a higher potential than B. Right here. Got this. Point A is at a higher potential. Make sure that makes sense. I'm good with that. After the axle rolls past the resistor, does the current in R reverse direction? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure, so I'm just going to figure this guy out. So, epsilon equals negative. I'm going to skip some steps here. I got dBdt times area. Change the magnetic field with respect to time times the area plus change in area with respect to time times the magnetic field. All right. We know the magnetic field is constant here. And now right starting black. And there's another one black. And we know that area. No, that's totally wrong. Hop, hop. Change the magnetic field with respect to time is zero. There we go. So this is going to equal negative d area dt. So we know that the area with respect to time is going to be positive. Because as it when it passes, so area is getting smaller, 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 smaller. Gets to the resistor and it gets past it. Area reaches zero, because I guess the length or the width, one of the two, equals zero. And then as it rolls past, area is now getting bigger, 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 bigger. So before we had d a d t. Ooh. I think I did the previous part wrong. I did the previous part wrong. I did this whole thing wrong. Maybe. Did I do this whole thing wrong? Possibly. Hmm. All right. 
So, let me go back real quick. So we know that this guy right here, the ADT, is less than zero because the area is getting smaller. So that's going to be a negative times a negative. That's a positive. It does not oppose. It goes with magnetic field. So this right here is going to be going with the magnetic field. So it's going to be going down. So we know there's going to be magnetic field induced going this direction. So to do that, we're going to have to have current going this way. There we go. So it's going to flow from B to A. Therefore, B is going to be at a higher potential. Oh, I see how I did that. That's pretty good. I'm just going to pretend like that first part never happened. Man, I make so many mistakes. So many mistakes. All right. Again, if you guys see these mistakes, and I, you know, and I didn't catch it, put it down in the comments. Let me know. I'm not a, I'm not a delicate flower. I'll, I'll get over it. My, my ego is too big to be hurt by your petty comments. All right. So back to this guy then. So the rest is all true. Probably. All right. So after the actual roll is passed, now we have d a d t, where we know that the change in area with respect to time is now getting bigger. So this is going to be negative d a d t. Nope. So this is going to be a negative um, number, which implies that now it's that's a three epsilon. Epsilon is less than zero. So that the voltage is negative. Mm -hmm. which means it's going to create a magnetic field opposing the um, current magnetic field. So if we look at this again, we're now going to create a magnetic field going this direction. Up, up, there we go. So the current's going to go this direction, like so. So now, current's going to go from A. No, 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 no. So now, we're going to have the wheel over here. Yeah, there we go. So to make the magnetic field, we're still going to have the magnetic field. It's going to oppose it, so it's going to go up. But to do that, we're going to go like this. So it's going to have the magnetic field going like this, in this direction. So after it passes, the magnetic the current is still be going to go in the same direction as um, R, or as it was previously. So it's still going to go from B to A. So after the actual rolls pass the resistor, does the current in R reverse direction? No, it passes through R the same way. And the reason is because you have basically a double negative. So uh, now you're going to have uh, D A. So it's going to go from going, I guess, what is it, clockwise. So you're going to have it go. You're going to have the current going from a clockwise to a counterclockwise direction, and so that's going to change the direction. But you're also going to have the area going from getting smaller to getting bigger, and you're basically going to have a double negative between the two, and that's going to give you the same result as you started with. Um, and you can explain that if you want. I don't even know if this part's graded. Basically, what I'd do is I'd be like, uh, bam. But you can't put it in there because you probably don't have a photo. You have to use words. So I would say, well, the induced EMF equals negative. Oh, my gosh. That'd be so boring. Whatever grader that was reading it would be like, oh, my gosh. That's okay. Say whatever you want in there. But that's my reasoning. And no, the direction of current does not change. C was originally wrong when I put it up there. Terrible. Terrible. So originally, the change in area with respect to time uh, is negative. So you're going to have a magnetic field in the same direction as... I even got that part wrong. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. No, no. There we go. Bush League. Bush League. All right. So that is how that part that part was done. Got it? Okay. Good luck. See you on Prom 12.